Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our Legacy Challenge. In the last episode we saw that I accidentally cheated as in I accidentally put disabled needs decay. So it was very easy to make Jake and I's relationship go a little bit further. We started dating, we woohooed for the first time. So that was all pretty easy because their like needs were really high and it was totally my fault. Did not realize that I accidentally disabled it. So that was my uh, accidental cheating. It was funny though because I put in the, like the title of that for the last video and a lot of you guys in the comments were like, oh, it's okay, it was an accident. So you guys are super sweet, so thank you for that. But in this episode, we are going to meet your townies that you have created for Jake and I to live in our town. I also think I'm going to be doing something at the end of this episode too. We'll kind of see how it goes, but you'll have to kind of stay tuned to see if we if we do. I, I really, really want to, so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see how this goes. So I just was like running my game because it was like the middle of the night and I didn't want to start the episode in the middle of the night. So Bubbles is actually also aging up into an adult dog. So we're going to be able to take him on walks. We're going to be able to whatever else we do, agility or whatever with the dog. So I'm also really excited to see him as a little puppy. I mean, he's not a puppy. He is still to me. He's a puppy, but not actually a puppy. So yeah, anyway, so we're going to, oh, speaking of Bubbles, he's like right here behind me with his, his little head up. Bubbles, can you see? He's like really tired apparently so he doesn't want to get up but it's okay so I'm actually able to film today because I have my day off work I have to go to rehearsal later tonight but it's actually like daylight so it might look a little brighter than usual um, so I'm trying to get as many videos filmed today as I can so I can just get them all out by this weekend so hopefully you guys will get a good set of videos in the next few days and I'm going to put a schedule on Twitter for you guys too to see so stay tuned for that as well so before we begin today's episode if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified when we post a new video don't forget to follow us on social media and let's go ahead and play the legacy challenge okay so like i said bubbles is aging up into a dog so he's actually like right in the middle of that right now so we're seeing him oh we just saw the very last of it but he aged up into a puppy and i think this looks so much like him guys this actually looks like I think I might have tweaked it a little bit since the first episode uh, but because I knew like this is what he would age it into but this looks so much more like him than the other one did oh best image ever Jake just posted a new video Jake are you sick you're dehydrated I forgot to in my last episode of the royal family I said I was going to delete the whole dehydration part of the slice of life mod because it was a little irritating that they're always dehydrated but i just saw on twitter this morning that there's an update for the slice of life mod and that they got rid of dehydration and a few other things are updated too so i need to download that because i haven't gotten the chance yet chance yet so i will definitely go ahead and do that but bubbles is a puppy now guys he's oh oh no sorry he's an adult now he's still a puppy to me but we're gonna have Jake Sims simstagram him oh and we get little pictures of him too oh my gosh He's just as cute in The Sims as he is in person. This is so, so cute. And I think Jake's going to, I got a notification that he hadn't, or his spotlight was fading. So hopefully, oh, Bubbles has gained, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, Bubbles does actually have an Instagram. I think it's Bubbles the Pomapoo. I'll put his Instagram in the description if you want to follow him, but it's just a lot of cute pictures of my dog. So you're welcome to follow him if you would like to. But I think that we are going to, it's 6 a.m. Jake has a audition or he has a gig. He has a gig uh, at 12 p.m. on Tuesday, so that's today. So at 12 p.m. today, he has a gig. And then I have work in four hours. So I want to meet townies before we do that. It is raining very, very badly. I don't know if we're going to get to meet everyone's townies. I want to try to meet at least one of everyone's. And I got to keep track of who, of who did that. But I added them all already to the world. So why don't just whoever we'll start with. Okay, so this is the Hammond. So we'll start with them. So we are going to go visit them. Can you see the information also? You can. Okay. So this says Tatiana can't stand having her husband's sister still living with them. Ooh, I couldn't either. Never mind that they've only just aged up. Get rid of them. Marry them off. There's so many young men willing to take a lower rich standing wife. Basically, these girls are for the single men who need wives in the royal. Oh, in the royals world. Oh, oh shoot, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I didn't I didn't read the whole description before beforehand. So they are actually meant 
for our royal family series so that's my fault i will go ahead and move them out and then move them into our royal series that's really cool though thank you for uh, oh i have to check who who's who submitted that one um but let's see the hammonds so B L B E S I three. Um, so they're the ones who submitted them. So thank you so much. I will definitely add them to the Royal series. Um, in the next, not probably won't be the next episode, but I think a few after that will definitely add them in. So thank you. Okay. So we're not going to go meet them then. I have to find the other ones. This was one of them, Crockett. I think we have met them. I'm gonna just try to show you guys the new ones first. So we have the D Sal Nor family. I think, I don't know if that's how I pronounce it, but I love that name. Um, so I haven't actually read all the descriptions clearly because I didn't read the other one. Um, Ma Major uh, Majorie and Bruce just clicked when she opened the door to him one morning. Majorie and, I'm sorry guys, I'm so bad at cold reading. Majorie and Bruce would date for two years before he popped the question. Majorie's family are Irish and Spanish, making her have a good sense of for food and Irish beer. She wants to have a career in politics. Bruce comes from an Asian American family, oh, an Asian American family and loves the idea of being a doctor. Plus don't forget their daughter who has an obsession with her onesie and their little one on the way. Oh, it's a little like mixed family. I love that so much. Thank you so much. I have to check who also who who um submitted them. Scottish Queen Eleven. So thank you so much. I like them. So why don't we go visit them first, and then we'll go look at the descriptions of the other ones when we visit them too. Should we bring bubbles? I don't know if we should. Uh, I don't want bubbles to like make it a mess in their house and then it be our fault. So that wouldn't be a good thing. But I'm excited to meet everyone's townies, guys. I love the families. I love the descriptions. You guys are really good at creating like a good backstory for them. I'm not that great at that. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. So we need to meet them. Let's go ahead, just knock on the door first and get out of the rain. And they came with a house too. So th this had a house that they wanted me to download with it. So I haven't even seen the inside of this. So she does have a baby on the way. So friendly introduction, Jake do a friendly introduction. So their names are Bruce friendly. And then, um, Ma Majory. is that how you guys pronounce it? Majory. Um, and then their little toddler to Jolene. Oh my gosh, that's cute. She is obsessed with her onesie. Is this her everyday outfit? Because it's so cute. Okay, so I like that they added a house for this too. That is such a good idea. Because now it's got like a little toddler room and then a room that's ready for when the baby comes too. So when they age up, I'm going to have to add um, and redecorate their house to add more beds and stuff for them. But that's really, really cute. So we're getting along. Oh no, the toddler's sad. Probably because she was away from her parents. So we need to introduce ourselves to them to try to get to know them a little bit better. Uh, oh, can you not? introduce your wait what why can't you introduce yourself to her what jake why can't you introduce yourself that's weird that's very strange is it because you're already in a group conversation you can introdu introduce yourself to jolene though and the fact that she's having a baby soon means that we should also probably have a baby soon so they could be about the same ages so i think that would be really really cute so okay we have a little we have their like master bedroom here that's so cute this house is adorable Oh my gosh, the little baby room and the toddler room too, and the bathroom. Oh my gosh, guys, this is very cute. Is there only one bath? There is only one bathroom. Okay, so that's a nice bathroom though. It's a pretty big one. So this is really nice. I like this house a lot. I would love, we don't really need to update or upgrade our house, but it would be nice to do that. I don't think I've ever seen a TV like this before. This is cool. Whoa, someone's, <laughs> they're just showing off the muscles of that sim. I always thought for the sims for TV that they show like the sims, like for sims 4, they would show the sims 3 and for sims 3, they would show the sims 2 on the TV. But like that was totally the sims 4. Like the, the, you could just tell by the way the sims are. Yeah, this is totally sims 4. So that's so cool. I wonder for maybe for movies, if that's the case, instead of like, this looks like the weather channel. So that's kind of cool. So is Jake allowed to introduce himself to her yet? Okay, yes, he is. Awesome. So we're getting along pretty well with them, guys. They, it might be like nice to have like a couple that we always hang out with uh, and then just have like, and then like our kids would be really close and be friends too. But that means we need to catch up. We need to have a baby pretty soon, but we're not even married yet. So, but it's nice to have a couple to be friends with too. So we do, oh, since I do want to make sure we get to everyone, I want to, I want to get a move on and um, meet the other Sims too. So that's nice. So, uh, 
I'm gonna have to look up how to pronounce her name. Is it Majory? Can I call? Can I just call her Maggie for sure? Just for now, until I figure out how to pronounce her name. So I'll just call her Maggie and Bruce. So Maggie, Bruce, and Jolene. And then we have. Is this added? I don't know if this was added by one of our uh, viewer. I don't think so. They don't look familiar. Okay, so now that I have the MCCC, the cheat command, uh, they are just like adding people to my houses, like moving in. So I'm like trying to figure out who is who. Pancakes, I know, obviously is not. Okay, so the Crockett household. So we've never actually been to their house before, so we'll go visit them. So the Crockett household, you guys might have seen in a previous episode because they were one of the first townies that I did add. So with them, I I believe it's like the the wife the husband and the brother of the wife i think so let's go ahead and meet them and i'm just moved them into one of the houses in willow creek that was already here i've never seen this house before this is cool it's like the whole one story here and then it turns into two stories up here that's actually really cool and they have like they have two doors or is this their that's their main front door probably okay Man, guys, it's so, like, gloomy and dreary and stuff. So, okay, it doesn't look like we've actually met them yet. So that's Tara, or T I think it's Tara. And then, Ray, introduce yourself to Tara, too. And then this is Stuart. So, you've already met Stuart, apparently. So, okay, so Stuart is the brother, then, because I think the couple's actually last name is Holding. So, they are, I, I get, if it's called the Crockett household, was it originally the brother and the, and the sister's, um, whatchamajigger, sister's house, and then I guess the husband might have moved in? I'm gonna have Ray work from home so we can actually, like, pay attention to the townies. Oh, she has to write an article, though. Okay, we have to do that by the end of, by the end of the day. So, we have them, and then we have Jack, I think that's his name, yep, yeah, Jack Holding, who's coming down the stairs. So, he's coming down to come talk to us. It's a little bit dark in this house, though, so... Hopefully you guys can see okay, but we are just meeting everyone try to discuss outfits just Basically try to get everything Like get to know everyone kind of see who we click with that would be really really nice So I do think this house is really cute. They have a downstairs bedroom So I'm assuming that's Stort's bedroom and then we have their room upstairs too. So that's really cute They could totally like if they had kids they could add on here yeah we could try to see if they get pregnant and then if they do then maybe their kid would be about the same age as ours since they like haven't gotten pregnant yet so they would probably be around the same age so we are just talking to them have we met all of them yet i think so so we have jack and stort and Tara's, and they don't have any kids yet either so i i don't think i read the description for them so i'll go ahead and do that so we'll flatter them and then I think Jake actually is going to have to go soon to his gig, so I'll scrap a new idea. So why don't we, we can go ahead and, and leave them to it. I think next door, no, that's the Pancakes household. Royalty report, we got some money, not too much money. We definitely need to make more money, that's for sure. We only have 3,000. I've just paid the bills too, it was around $800, so that's why we lost some of the money. I think we had almost 4,000 before, so now we don't. But, okay, our sim is here. Oh, I can't see the information about the household right now. So I'll have to look at that later. Um, so the Huff household is another one that moved in. So it says, Kobe tries to manage a huge family after his wife Emma dies. And I think I did um, d read, read the description for you guys in the last episode or the one before that. But so the Huff household was given to us by SmileyBoy711. Um, so... Wait, wait, what? I th it looks like there's so much less people in that. Wait, what happened to- There's only four? Wait, what? W what? Guys, why is there only f four in the house? Unless, unless the other ones got married? Wait, but th she's a teenager. I'm conf- Oh no, they're young adults. Th they're young adults. So they might have gone off to get married. Because there was to there's totally supposed to be more than that. Jacqueline Huff, John Huff. So, wait, well, who's Kobe? Did he leave his kids? Oh my gosh. Did he leave his kids and go get married somewhere else? Because I don't see him. Oh my gosh, guys. He left his children. He left his children to take care of his other children. This is awful! I need to go to manage households and figure out what the heck happened because he needs to move back in and go take care of his children. Who just up and leaves like that? That's awful. That's horrible. I don't know what happened. I was like so confused because there's so much less 
people in that household than before. So, okay, well, let's see where the heck is his name is Kobe. So he's not in my household, so he'd be in other households. Oh, wait, wait, Huff, unplayed. Is this, did you take two of the kids? What? Guys, I'm so confused. That's him. But who the heck is that? Oh my gosh, did he find someone and marry her? <laughs> Guys, I don't understand. Is th where were you living? Here, right? Yeah, so these are two of the kids, I guess, that he took with him. What? How many people were in that household? There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then there's four here and then three there. He took them. He took two of the kids that he wanted to live with and moved them out. And, and that's awful. We're moving them back in. So, oh no, I can't, it's too big. Wait, what? It is? Um, I thought you could have eight people live in a house, guys. Right? Well, you're going to have to leave that other lady then. Because that's... That's not right. That I'm so confused, guys. What happened? Why? Okay, well, let's go. Let's go back to them. And there they are. And okay, we're gonna have to split them up. Is this his new wife or something? It is his new wife. Sorry, lady. You're that's not gonna happen. He's got kids to take care of. So is she pregnant? She must be pregnant. What can she be pregnant if she's an elder? But I thought I thought eight people could live in a house at once. Because this is seven. Okay. Can she move in too? Ooh, no. Oh. Well, he's got a wife living somewhere else, guys. So, okay, well, well. Let us go and visit them, I guess. I'm so, so sorry, guys. That would, like, took forever, like, trying to figure out. This is what is, like really hard about the cheat because this is all because of the cheat that I downloaded or not the cheat the mod that I downloaded so Ray has discovered something about herself slash himself this discovery added a new trait Ooh, what trait did you get uh let's see you hates <gasps> <laughs> hates athletic sims isn't Jake athletic he he's active but he's not athletic Okay, wait, but is that the, isn't that the same thing? Uh, Vivian Luz is wondering if I want to go over. Not now, we're visiting our other, uh, other friends. I'm confused. Is athletic, like, another trait? Because that means Ray doesn't like the fact that Jake is athletic. That's, that's, that's weird. I, I mean, it, I, that's interesting. Okay, that's also the slice of mod, slice of life mod, too. So... Guys, I'm just trying to get used to all these cheats. It's really difficult. I'm just like trying to figure out everything. I think it'll be okay. I just need to figure out stuff. Make sure everything's okay. Just need to figure out how to control some stuff. Okay. Oh, did Jake figure out something about himself too? Hates bad personalities. That makes sense. Loves good, per good personalities. <laughs> how do you know if someone has a bad personality or a good personality though? Uh, oh, and I love family oriented Sims. Is Jake family oriented? I don't think he is. I'm family oriented. And I'm scared of the thunderstorm, too, apparently. Okay, so knock on the door. So everyone is out here in the rain, and we're meeting, like, all of these kids. So this is all one, apparently not single dad anymore because he's married. But we're going to have to try to marry off one of the kids so he can move in with his wife. So uh, he, we need to introduce ourselves to everyone. So, Ray, go introduce yourself. So one of the toddlers we have, Sabrina Huff. So let's do a friendly introduction. So it looks like their mother passed away. And now they're all like, get to know. Um, and then they were left with their father who got married very, very quickly, apparently. So friendly introduction. Guys, that was just like, I don't know why he took two of the kids with him and not the rest of the kids. I mean, I'm assuming to like, because they didn't have enough space. But like, why would you just take two of the kids? That makes no sense to me. How, how did the, the game decide to do that? Like, how did this cheat decide that? That's so... So strange. Okay, you need to introduce yourself to Kobe. Ray. Oh, no, 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 don't go home. But you need to introduce yourself to Kobe, too. I just heard a click, and I wasn't sure what that was. I 
that like my camera turned off or is my mic still on everything's still on i think okay we're all good okay kobe's very tense probably because of the rain so we do need to introduce ourselves to him though because he's like the father of this family so yeah let's all go inside um we're gonna send jake alone so jake's going to not join us on this on this group outing anymore so put put the book away and go to work jake and then when you come back we can we can try to hang out a little bit more so uh ray you're supposed to introduce yourself to kobe friendly introduction don't just watch his tv you're supposed to introduce yourself are we introducing ourselves to all the kids so that's sabrina huff's the other toddler and then lyric huff which i think is an adorable name guys that is such a cute name lyric that's so pretty uh-oh and the kid he's messing things up too your father's gonna be mad oh my gosh can you imagine guys having six kids and I mean, like two of the kids are are grown up, so they can totally help out with the toddlers. But like six kids and being a single parent, guys, that is just the worst. We probably should, as soon as possible, move the the his new wife in here because I mean, I mean, he has his older kids to take care of them too. But it's just we probably want him to live with his wife. So I think we've introduced ourselves to everyone here. We're just like gotta like kind of give our condolences to kobe for just be like we will babysit anytime you want apparently she's willing to ask for money already but i don't think you need to do that and then discuss interest and then oh your other kid's making a mess dude i'm just gonna leave you here to it because that that's sorry that's that's your problem that's a lot okay so we met the crockett household we met the huff singer is not anyone you guys downloaded that's a new family we met the del sal nor family d sal nor family i'm assuming they took the wife's last name because that's not a nation last name so that's a really cool last name though and then uh, i think bates was another one too that you guys oh oh and let's go see the crockett's definition so oh okay never mind it doesn't have a definition um it just has a little note for me okay so the bates household so um, Damien and Casey Bates are a rather poor set of siblings. They don't have much money and they barely have a roof over their head, but at least they have each other. So I did, uh, I think, read that description to you guys in another episode. I think that, yeah, they were one of the first ones that I downloaded too. Um, so they're just like a little set of brother and sisters. I'm assuming the brother is a young adult. I think I have to check, but I will just check to see also who... So Bates, so this is by by the same one um, as the Mayor's household. Um, so thank you guys so much. I'm I really like all the townies. The Grayson household, I swear I downloaded her somewhere and I don't know where I put her. So I have to we'll have to go back to another episode to try to find her. But let's knock on the door and, and meet these two little young siblings. So we have here, we have Damien Bates, and he is a young adult. It looks like, oh, it looks like the sister must be at school. So what does Damien do? Does he have a job? Should probably go get a job. He's uncomfortable right now. And discuss uncomfortable mood, I get. Well, I'm uncomfortable too because of the rain. We'll interview Damien. I don't think we have to do that for work. But yeah, we just have to write an article. So I need to do that as soon as we get home. And Ray's starting to get hungry. So it looks like she is going to have to go home soon and try to eat something. Because don't people get mad if you try to eat stuff out of their fridge? I'm pretty sure they do. This is Damien Bates. So we'll have to meet his sister another time because Ray does need to go eat something. She needs to work. She needs to get food. Probably should check on Bubbles too. But is there any other households that you guys haven't seen yet? Do we meet? Oh, yeah. The Hammonds aren't for us. The Hammonds are for the royal family. We met the Huffs. My Sim is there. The Holidays. Sullivan's. Mayor. Oh, the Mayors. Oh, did I say Mayors before? So this is the house for the Del D. Sal Nor family. So Mayors is a different family. So I think I said that um, the viewer who created that family was they gave a house for the mayors but i meant to say the d salnor family so i moved the mayors into a household that was already in willow creek so we can meet them it looks like it's a single dad who has twin boys maybe oh the boys are back from school so yeah so they are here so we do we need to like use the bathroom or anything uh, kind of soon we should do that at some point so this is chris mayors it does look like he's a single dad too there's a lot of single dads we have guys not too much like single mothers though so he kind of looks like Kobe a little bit too, right? I think so. So it's Chris, Chris Mares. And we should meet his kids. They got, oh, did I move him into a house that had, oh no, it only has one, oh, it only has one of the kids' room. But this could be the kids' room too. It just like, yeah, that could totally be his room too. He just like, he gets the double bed and the other one doesn't. So maybe I should change that. And this looks like this is Chris's bedroom. But both of them just like went into their own rooms after school. That's really cute. So we're going to do a friendly introduction to the kids too and meet them. Maybe like, 
future babysitters for our kids. Why is that not a, is that a mod, guys? Do you guys know of a babysitting mod? Because it'd be nice. To, and I think I saw someone else say something about this. Like, it'd be nice to just babysit, like, have a babysitting mod so you can just, like, ask family members to babysit or ask friends to babysit your kids or you could babysit someone else's kids. I think that would be really cute. That would be a very, very cute mod. I know you can be a babysitter as a like for a teenager's job so just not like like an actual babysitter where you can go interact with people too oh is this a oh i think she's a girl just messengers i think so and caleb that might oh yeah okay so we it looks like she's a bit of a tomboy for sure but so that's delilah so we're going to complain about acne ray do you have acne i don't see your acne let's see do you it's really dark in here so i can't tell I don't, it doesn't look like she does. Uh, yeah, I don't see any acne. But I think when they're a teenager for the slice of mod, they're supposed to get acne. So we're going to talk about the thunderstorm. Get to know, and get to know the kids a little bit. This is a cute little family, guys. And maybe he'll get to find, like, a wife soon, too. Because obviously, Kobe already found one on his own. So maybe Chris will get to find one also. They do look alike. Like, they really do. So we got to meet them. So I think Jake's going to be back from his gig pretty soon at some point. I think we did meet everyone. I just want to make sure. So I'll go back to the gallery and see all the families. So we met them and the mares. The Hammonds are going to be in the royal family. They We got the Huffs here. Um, and then we... McWilliams is in the royal family. Grace and I'll download another time. We met Bates. We met Crockett. And then the Huffs. Yeah. Okay, so we've met everybody. So we are going to have Ray go back home. Is Jake... Oh, Jake's already home. Jake's already back. That was really, really fast. So we definitely... So Jake and Ray's relationship is getting pretty good. We've got very, very high relationship for romance and for friendship, like I, to the point where it said we could become best friends if we wanted to. Ray needs to use the bathroom. Oh, Jake's at work. I thought it said he was home, but it doesn't look like he is. So Ray needs to use the bathroom. She also needs to cook something, but this needs to, that needs to go to the trash. Cause that, wait, can I not throw that away? Can you clean that up? Cause that's really gross. Okay. And then have a quick meal. Maybe, can you try cooking Ray something really easy? Like a garden salad. And um, we'll do we'll do party size so we always have leftovers. Unless, is there leftover foods in here? There is, there's already food in here. Grab a serving. Okay, you don't have to bake anything. Jack Holding, hey, I heard you became friends with Kobe Huff. Yes, apparently we did. Okay. Um, okay, looks like I need to clear out some of my custom content that's causing some problems. So, we're gonna have Ray- why didn't she just use this sink? There's a sink right here and it's perfectly fine. Ray's going to eat her salad and- can she eat her salad and write an article at the same time? Because she needs to do that. Write- uh, wait, how do I write an article? Uh, career submit article? I- but don't you have to write the article before you submit the article? It says write article, not submit article. Hopefully that works though. Bubbles, are you are you scared of the thunderstorm? Is your food Oh no, you don't have any food. <gasps> Set schedule time. I thought we already scheduled a time. Is he hungry? I need to find out what's wrong with Bubbles. I think he might just be scared of the thunderstorm, but we can check. So oh you can call him into your arms. Oh, he's jumping up too! Roughhouse pet. Oh my gosh, guys. I love the pets short walk it's really like raining though so i don't i don't know if we would want to do that pet care can you oh go on walk i think why can't i ask him what's wrong training no i okay sorry bubbles i can't i can't ask what's wrong okay well what are your needs doing right your energy okay why don't you take a quick nap oh you have to write your article dang it okay well you need to sleep too before jake comes home because I want you guys to, like, go on a date or something. Oh, I submitted an article! Wait, so does that count as right? Oh, I didn't write the article, though. Um, oh, Bob Pancakes wants to come. Okay, that's fine. I didn't even think we, like, really knew Bob Pancakes that well. So, write an article. Write practice writing, resume writing. Why can't I? <laughs> Career? Oh, write article. Wait. Was... I was that wasn't there before was it? Oh Jake's back. Okay. Wait, that's not Jake. That's no nope, never mind. That's Bob Pancakes He's just hanging out. I guess I didn't even know we knew him that well. Do we know him very well? Barely We're like acquaintances, but he's literally just coming to read one of our books. Okay, Jake earned hundred sixty dollars That's not awful. He it looks like he's like not too hungry or anything too, but he also should sleep 
So I'm gonna have him sleep while Ray is just finishing writing this article. And then I want us, I want us to go on a date. It's 8 p.m. Ray isn't too tired. I just want her to finish this article as soon as she does. She's in a flirty mood already. It says from, so with the slice of my, slice of life mods, you can get memories. Oh no. Rejected write-up. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, but yeah, you get memories. So I'm thinking about my first time woohooing. So there's that, and then it's almost time. Oh, that's not good. Can you not woohoo if you are... Because, like, the Slice of Life mod, they have, like, menstruating. I'm not going to go into detail with that. Never mind. I'll find that out on my own. So, um, so Ray just wrote an article. She needs to write another one before tomorrow. But I'm going to have her and Jake go on a date. So, Ray, you're feeling very flirty. You're blushing, too. So that's part of the Slice of Life mod is that they can blush, which I think is really cute. So we're going to ask Jake out on a date. Uh, we definitely want to go somewhere inside because, oh, my gosh, Ray, you are aggressively flirty. <laughs> my goodness gracious. And Bob Pancakes just, like, walks through it. He's like, hey, I'm just here. It's fine. Are you that tired, Ray? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you need to sleep or something. That's not good. Okay, so we need to go on a date inside. Let's go to... Uh, I want to go to... I don't think I downloaded any restaurants, guys. Well, shoot. Okay, Um, why don't we go... We're somewhere, like, still romantic, but also, like... Like... Like, nah, I, I don't know. The, I can't think of anything else besides, like, a restaurant or something. With the nightclub we could go to, we could go to the library, we could go to the Von Haunt Estate. I, there's like really not much to do there, but why don't we go there? I don't know. Well, well, it's pretty. It's pretty enough. And because I do want to move the relationship further, and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we want to do something by the end of this video. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's see if this happens. So... I oh I love this outfit guys this is one of my favorites I wanted to play around with my makeup a little bit too but I might have to do that in the next episode so Jake's feeling sore and uncomfortable but I want him to feel flirty so break up <gasps> Jake you don't want to do that don't break up what why is everyone coming here with their night ar armor on is this like where the the group the Knights of the Hedge meet it might be Okay, well, Jake's uncomfortable, but I want him to feel flirty like I do. So there's another person here, too. Wolfgang Munch. Oh, my gosh, that's such a funny name. Okay, so uh, let's become best friends. That would be cute. And then we can uh, compliment appearance. We want you to get flirty, so we have to just keep getting flirty. We became best friends, guys. That's super cute. Okay, and then now he's, now he's happy. Good. So express fondness. Uh, let's do an impression, I guess. Oh, okay, is Jake feeling- No, Jake's not feeling flirty quite yet. But why don't we go- Can we go, like, in the garden? Oh, it's not raining here! Oh, awesome! Oh, I, I didn't realize that. It, like, doesn't- The weather's not the same in every world. That's kind of actually really nice. I like that. Okay. And we're just, like, out front here. Oh, okay, right. We need to interact- Wait, we are interacting with, with each other. Why is that not- why is that not going up though? Ask risque question. Jake, you need to feel flirty. Kiss cheek. Everybody is here, guys. This place is popping tonight. Like, seriously, why is everyone here? Is there like some some nightclub thing happening or something or something I don't know about? Uh, well, there's a bunch of just people here now. Okay. We want to go sit together and alone away from everybody. Why is there no seating here? Oh my God. Okay. There's a bench over here. Sit together. Yeah. Sit and chat there because that's just, there's a lot. There's a lot of people happening. Jake's hungry too, guys. My bad. I, I should have like brought a snack for him. Make out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Give massage. Mm, you need to feel flirty, Jake. Ugh. It's so irritating to try to catch up with these with these needs. Blow a kiss. Uh, I saw Whisper Sweet Nothings. That was really cute. Okay, Whisper Sweet Nothings. They're making out, guys. They are. Okay, so we... Do you have any food with you? No, you just have a picture of Bubbles. Ray, do you have any food with you? Dang it. Can we just, like, pull food out of our pocket? Why is that not a thing? Maybe we should go to, like, a nightclub or something. Okay, so we've, we... Why is it saying we're not socializing with each other? We totally are! I... What? Is it... What? 
<laughs> Why aren't we socializing? We totally are, guys. Okay, and now it's starting to go up, but it wouldn't before. That was weird. Is it because we're just like doing flirty interactions or something? Or if, okay, now we're both feeling flirty. Do a sexy pose. We, I think I guess we need to do other stuff besides flirty stuff. Otherwise, it's not going to go up anymore. Why don't we do ask about day and funny tell dirty joke? And, okay, now, so what I want to do is have Jake propose, because we do really want them to get, take the relationship a little further. I don't see that option yet, though. And our, our, our main goal isn't going up at all. I don't understand why. Offer Rose. I don't see propose on here, guys. This is, uh, kiss cheek. Why don't you... I really need to end this episode. It's getting kind of long. Propose! There we go. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's, let's propose, guys. How do I also get rid of, like, the top thing? I, I can't do that. It's a little bit dark. It is... <gasps> okay. He's proposing. Jake's proposing. Oh, my gosh. Yay! Yes, guys! <gasps> Jake and I are engaged! Yay! Oh my god, I'm just taking like screenshot after screenshot because it's really really cute. Oh my gosh Okay, Jake and I are engaged guys. We can finally like take this a little bit of a step further So we are finally getting somewhere with our relationship. I do need to end this episode here I can't finish. I don't have time to finish the date at the moment, but we need to end this episode here Ray's already sleeping So I don't even know if this date's gonna be successful, but yeah, so we're engaged. We got to meet your townies I'm so 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 glad so we're gonna end this episode out here i think i've said that like three times but yeah yes okay but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys have any other suggestions or if you want to keep adding townies that's totally fine with me i like having new people added to the story i'm actually like happy to get rid of other people that are already in the sims so i can add your townies in just to have like new people i think that'll be a lot of fun but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video